Richards will tip it against Darius Hicks. Personnel note, Kentucky country in tempo last season. They love to run, they love to press, and they're coached by a guy who played in this building, A.W. Hamilton. Richards finds a loose ball, shot clock in right at 10, and we got a walk, and that was an issue for Richards. It has been, but he put together, obviously, longtime head coach at Hargrave Military Academy, where they averaged over 100 points a game. No Follow jam from no Richards over 100 points a game. No Follow jam from Khalil. And every dead ball, they're going to see this all night. Whitney with the pull up in double digits. He had 10 a game. This is not the easiest Kentucky team to press because they have maximum ball handlers, and that's how you do it. Chattanooga 79 68. They shot 60% in the second half to pull away. Mm. Just sped up. Different level of competition, obviously, when you come into Rough Arena. Nick Richards like the move. I like Kentucky, it doesn't change them much because you don't have a size disadvantage. If you're an SEC play, it could be problematic against certain opponents. First bucket comes at the 12.57. He's unable to practice. If you can't practice, you can't play at Kentucky, and uh, hopefully he'll be back soon. I like his aggression. Great drive. And he drives it inside. Good face up where he's more comfortable. Was able to put it on the floor. One but I could play against high level guys. I was asking the staff today. He recruited. It's kind of the, the, the new wave of recruiting. Originally recruited by Mark Gottfried's staff at NC State. Well, I love that move. Good, strong move by Theon Brooks. And that's his first game with their size and athleticism. Here's Brooks. Hey. Here's Brooks. Great penetration and pitch. Sestina the touch. You talk about extra pass. That's what Sestina gives you right there. Pass it in here. Hmm. Nice wrap pass and great extra ball pass. Moves. Great extra pass. Led to an open shot. Good on. Finds the board. Nice lead in the break. Good pass. Quickly with the step. And one. What offense, which has not been the case very often because they've scored against this pressure. Splits it. Again, great pass. Ashton Hagen. Hagens runs right past him again. This time, Sestina from the corner. Corner threes. Great decision by Hagen. Sestina pays it off. So the value of the corner threes has really been exaggerated in the pro game over recent years. And it's not just the distance, is it? It's also the floor spacing? I think so. And it's, and it, and it's obviously in a half quitting the double team. When you split the double team, doesn't take a genius to figure out. Now you're playing with an advantage behind. For their NC State days, folks want to win a chicken biscuit. Oh. And they are biscuit. Press attack. Hagen's out. Maxi in. Same result. Looks before the game. Now I understand. <laughs> Went in Rome. Nice play. Right by the 6-6 six, six Whitney. Nice touch. That's the goal. Maybe you can get one more before Cal gets him. Good pass. You did. They have got to work on that. Throwing off the opponent's leg. You're excellent at it. They should bring you in to a clinic. Instead, he a 55% shooting performance. They hold Eastern Kentucky to just 25%. Don't turn your television off yet. Andy Kennedy is going to interview somebody. See how this goes. John Calipari greets A.W. Hamilton. Kentucky got what they wanted out of this game. Able to handle the press and handle EKU. A balanced attack for the Cats. Outside of Nick Richards, who finished with 21 on 10 of 11 shooting.